Most of the goods, 79,300 people came from net migration with the rest due to 19,400 more than births than deaths. That was the highest net migration since the record level of over 100,000 in 2007. The number of immigrants was estimated to be 149,200, while the number of immigrants was estimated at 69,900. The official figures from the Central Statistics Office CSO compare the population in April 2023 to April 2024. Eva Lilia, statistics statistician in population estimates and projections at the CSO, said Ireland's population was estimated to be 5.38 million, rising by 98,700 people in the year to April 2024. This was the largest 12-month population increase in 16 years since, 20, since 2008, when the population rose by 109,200, she said. The number of immigrants in the last year was the highest since 2007 and consisted of 30,000 returning Irish citizens, 27,000 other EU citizens, 5,400 UK citizens, and 86,800 other citizens including Ukrainians. The number of immigrants was the highest since 2015 and consisted of 34,700 Irish citizens, 10,600 other EU citizens, 3,000 3, UK citizens and 21,500 other citizens including Ukrainians. Immigration has become a major social and political issue in Ireland after the country accepted a large number of Ukrainian refugees alongside an increasing in other sources of immigration. Between March and December 2022, almost 68,000 people arrived in Ireland from Ukraine under the EU's Temporal Protection Directive. That sudden and unprecedented inflow placed significant pressure on Irish state resources with the government having to take measures such as temporarily housing people in tents. Ireland's government was already struggling with a housing crisis before the increase in immigration. Right-wing protesters have held a, a series of demonstrations at asylum accommodation centers and some buildings a mark for asylum seekers have been burned down. Recent polling suggests that housing and immigration are major issues for voters ahead of a looming general elections. So, it is only normal that the Irish people are feeling the way they are feeling because they are feeling that their government have neglected their needs and the government are attending to the needs of people that are entering their country. So do plus minus, you will understand them. We are all humans. So every country, the government of every country, their first constitutional duty is to protect life and, life and properties in their countries and to provide for their citizens. So when your citizens see that you have failed as a government in your first constitutional duties, they feel being neglected. It's only normal that some of them are feeling the way they are feeling. So it's now left for their government to attend to their needs. It's now left for their government to reform some policies, implement some policies that will show these citizens that the way they are thinking that is not like that. It's not just about the government doing the talk. It's equally about the government backing its talks with actions. Yes. So you can see now that Ireland population has increased and the infrastructural or housing crisis has not seriously been attended to or dealt with.